another one if you are new to the channel. I'm Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, and SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2020 BMW 530i, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. And so I wanted to hop in this one. I haven't reviewed it yet, actually. This is a very good looking sedan. This one in particular, the 2020 model year, is part of the 7th 5 Series generation, introduced in 2017. And of course, you get the BMW complimentary maintenance with this as well, which includes four years, 50,000 miles of free maintenance. That's definitely a big perk to buying a BMW, any BMW for that matter. So with all of that being said, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be two different setups for the 2020 BMW 530i. First one being the rear wheel drive configuration, starting at $53,900. Then you have the all wheel drive or the X drive configuration starting at $56,200. And so, but regardless of which setup that you go with, power plant on this one will be the same. Powering this beast is going to be a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 248 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque available at approximately 1,400 RPM. Power again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. All in all, that gives you a zero to 60 time, approximately 5.9 seconds according to BMW. And if you were comparing this to the Audi A6, the A6 actually comes in at 6.1 seconds. So slightly better in the five series when you compare similar engine setups, of course. And overall MPG numbers on this one will come in at 25 in the city, 33 on the highway. That's pretty impressive actually for the size of a sedan. But nonetheless, before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test in the 530, I did want to mention there are some driving modes. Drive mode buttons are located just to the left of the shifter. I'm going going to push sport did immediately just downshift for me so it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving you more power on demand also will adjust throttle sensitivity and steering sensitivity as well so if you wanted a little heavier of a weight to the steering wheel go ahead and put it in that sport mode and that's how you're going to be able to get that but having said that to put it in full manual shift mode what you want to do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is gonna tell me what gear I'm in up on the gauges here. And what do you guys say? Let's do a quick little paddle shifter test here in the 530i and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us. Yeah, super quick. Definitely no issues with the paddle shifters. That was lightning quick. And that is something I say, I feel like in every single BMW review, their paddle shifters are always ridiculously on point. So extra fun on the weekends, on the back roads, if you wanted. You can also use it for engine braking in the snow, especially here in Pennsylvania. So definitely paddle shifters are on point. No issues there for me. Now I think it is time. Let's do a quick little acceleration test. Here is a straightaway right here in three, two, one, yo. Oh, there it is. Wow, that rev's high, man. <laughs> Definitely no issues with merging onto the highway, without a doubt. And although we are specifically reviewing the 530i today, the 5 Series in general does offer upgraded engine options. So you do have additional power if you wanted it, but for the 530i, definitely no issues with merging onto the highway. That was plenty of an acceleration for this car, so definitely no issues there. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes. I did want to also mention there's a dynamic handling package that goes for $1,950, by the way. But if you were to go with that, that gives you M Sport brakes with blue calipers. In the end, the 60 to zero stopping distance on this one, as I pull up to a stop sign right here, that is actually going to come in at 103 feet, which is wonderfully perfect. That is an amazing 60 to zero stopping distance. Let me tell you guys, for comparison's sake, if you were to compare that to the Audi A6, A6 is actually going to come in at 109 feet. So big difference there when it comes to stopping power between those two. But all in all, as far as the braking feel goes, it's been perfectly fine for me. So certainly no issues with bringing this one to a stop. So that is certainly on point as well. Touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a double wishbone multi-link aluminum front suspension in the back and integral. V multi-link aluminum rear suspension, twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers, 
all that pretty standard for the most part but again circling back to that dynamic handling package you will get the better brakes like i was saying but also an adaptive damping suspension which really gives you the best of both worlds that is not only going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering but also since it's monitoring each shock absorber individually is going to give you a smoother ride again giving you the best of both worlds soaking up pa's road of perfection so that is definitely a big plus as well and in addition to that that package also gives you integral active steering it's a little more precise steering feel a little better turning radius as well to that one so all in all that is probably a package i would go with just because of the adaptive damping suspension quite honestly but overall ride quality has been perfectly fine although we don't have that package today it's perfectly fine for me it does get smoother like i said with that package though steering feel is fine as well i prefer the sport driving mode when it comes to that steering feel because it does give it a heavier weight to the steering wheel so i do like that better feeling of being in control of this one as far as cabin noise goes i have the climate control on right now but really that's all i'm really getting as far as cabin noise goes really one of the better ones i will say in my short test drive today very isolated very quiet cabin here in the 5 series so i'm definitely impressed with that specifically then touching on visibility i could see perfectly fine out the back really with any sedan you are not going to have any issues with visibility whatsoever so that is a big old plus in my book as well and to go along with that actually rain sensing windshield wipers come standard on this one so it is going to turn on the wipers whenever it detects any kind of mist or rainfall so once again that is wonderfully on point and in addition to that there is a head-up display that comes with the premium package or executive package but that's going to display your speed limit and speed up on the windshield better helping you keep your eyes on the road little safety feature there as well but that about rounds off the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this new 2020 BMW 530i. All right, here she is, you guys. The 2020 BMW 530i finished in mineral white metallic. In case anybody was curious, that is the exterior color you are currently looking at right now. Let's go ahead and start up front though on this one. BMW Active Kidney Front Grille, of course, coming standard with the chrome perimeter. That is what you're looking at right now. Chrome accents surrounding the lower air curtains as well. That is the standard setup at least. M Sport package is available for an additional $5,000. That is going to add a revised front bumper, including gloss black accents in the lower corners. To the sides, adaptive LED headlights will come standard. They do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they do turn on automatically for there led daytime running lights also coming standard there is actually a lighting package though that goes for one thousand fifty dollars that's going to add full led headlights including automatic high beams actually as well so now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one chrome window surrounds coming standard on this one that is what you're looking at right now however if you were to go with that m sport package that is going to swap that out for black window surrounds chrome accents on the lower portion of the front fenders again that's the standard setup black accents are going to come with the m sport door handle led ambient lighting which actually illuminates those lights onto the ground so they're kind of like puddle lights at night that's pretty darn cool body colored power adjustable side mirrors come standard they are actually heated they do come with integrated turn signals as well so all of that is standard so that's pretty nice soft closed doors come at the executive package we don't have that today but essentially kind of acts like a vacuum the doors suck themselves in if you get the door close enough for it to shut itself it's pretty cool and take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels is the standard setup again that's what you're looking at 19 inch m specific multi-spoke alloys are going to come with the m sport package if you were to go that route then going ahead and make our way to the back shark fin antenna up top there coming standard trim level badging of course being found back there led tail lights coming standard as well and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome circular tips is the standard setup however M Sport package is going to give you dual exhaust outlets with chrome trapezoidal outlets, but we actually have some optional black chrome tips here today. So that's what you're looking at right now. But either way, you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> All 
Alright, so now since we are round back when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. That is one way to go about doing it. It is a power rear trunk and you can get a hands-free trunk actually for the 5 Series if you were to go with the convenience, premium, or executive packages. That is how you're going to be able to go about getting that. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 18.7 cubic feet. For comparison's sake, when you compare that to the Audi A6, A6 comes in at 13.7 cubic feet. So decent amount more than the A6 actually but either way if that wasn't enough space there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down bumping that up quite a bit there in the cargo area though you can also find a 12 volt power outlet back there and there is some led cargo lighting actually back there as well then make our way to the rear legroom that comes in at 36.5 inches audi a6 comes in at 37.4 a little bit more but essentially they're the same thing there for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back of the 530i there rear ventilation also coming standard back there rear center armrests with cup holders there are rear heated seats with the convenience package and up also a power rear sunshade you can have that if you go with the executive package that's how you're going to be able to go about getting that and that is a power rear sunshade i don't know if i emphasize that it's not the manual one so that's pretty cool and of course you have front seat back map pockets back there you have some charging ports and some storage as well but then going ahead and making our way to the front seat 16-way power adjustable front seats come standard that comes with two-way power side bolsters four-way power lumbar and memory settings actually heated front seats will come with a convenience package and up and there actually is a luxury seating package that is for $1,600 but that's going to include ventilated front seats massaging front seats and they are 20-way power multi-contoured front seats by the way as well and they are quite comfy i can attest to that let's take a look at the steering wheel it does come standard power adjustable that's probably the first thing i noticed when i got in this one it is leather wrapped of course with decent 10 and 2 bolsters the m sport package is going to give you even better bolsters little thicker grips there but still perfectly fine even without that and there is a standalone option for a heated steering wheel that goes for 190 dollars. we actually do have that today that bun's located just underneath the bmw logo there if you wanted that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have all of your buttons located on one side of the key. Lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. But it is all keyless entry though, so simply just put your foot on the brake, and there is an engine start button located just to the right of the gauges there. Let's open that once started up. Standard configuration is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Speedometer is on your left with a digital speedometer within it. Tachometer is on your right, and of course, it is completely adjustable. Navigation information is gonna be front and center, has your outside temperature, time of the day, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, and of course, it changes colors when you adjust the driving mode as well so if you were to put it in eco pro mode it gives you a lot more blue hues comfort is going to be basic setup and then sport is going to give you more red hues so it's kind of cool that it changes colors depending upon the driving mode there too then touching on overall interior quality anthracite headliner coming standard that comes with the power moonroof up top there as well universal garage door openers for up to three different garage doors can be located just underneath the rear view mirror that's another standard feature there dual zoom climate control as well wireless phone charges is going to come with the premium and executive packages that's going to be located just in front of the cup holders leather dashboard goes for 700 dollars if you wanted that option ambient lighting coming standard that comes with 11 different color options i like it on blue here i tried to pull into this darker area so i could show that to you guys but plenty of different colors there's green lilac orange tons of different colors that's pretty cool that that's there as well Overall, a very nice finish once again to this BMW 5 Series as expected. I've reviewed a lot of BMWs lately and their interior quality is perhaps the main thing I'm always super impressed with. You have authentic wood trim throughout this one found on the doors. It kind of ties together just above the glove box and just underneath the infotainment screen as well. And then all is kind of highlighted or accented with that ambient lighting too. So I absolutely love the interior quality on this one. Dual cup holders just in front of the shifter, 12 volt power outlet, USB charging port. Again, wood trim around the circular dial and buttons. And when you open up the center armrest here, you have a little more storage and a phone charging port within that as well. And so, but then make your way to the tech display. It is a 10 
10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display. It can be controlled by the touchscreen or it is voice activated, the circular dial and buttons as I was mentioning, and there is gesture control available with the premium and executive package. What that is, is you use your hands to tell the screen essentially what you want. For example, if you put your finger in a clockwise rotation, that's gonna turn the volume up, counterclockwise turns it back down, and there's a bunch of other gestures you can do with that as well, actually. Bluetooth and audio streaming come standard. There's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation, also standard. Climate control settings you can check out up there. Again, your ambient lighting and of course your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound system on the 530i, 12 speakers, 205 watts come standard. 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system is available for $875. That comes with 600 watts if you wanted to go that route. And my favorite sound system of all time is available on this one, a 16 speaker Bowers and Wilkins surround sound system. That one goes for $4,200, so quite a hefty price tag there. But again, out of the 500 cars I've reviewed so far, it has been exactly around that amount. Bowers and Wilkins is still to this day my favorite, and that comes with 1,400 watts, by the way. But having said that, we have the standard sound system today, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing, and let's test out the clarity of this one. For a standard sound system, decent amount of bass. I was kind of surprised there. Even with it not being Harman Kardon or Bowers and Wilkins, there's a decent amount of bass there. So actually not that bad of a sound system there for the 5 Series. And so, but last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the 530i in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. There's also a 360 degree monitor though that is available with the parking assistance package. It goes for $700. So that is gonna be there for you as well if you wanted that. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying the 202530i is an IIHS top safety pick plus which by the way is the very highest designation given by IHS front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats tire pressure monitoring system also comes standard and an auto dimming rear view and driver side exterior mirror that second part doesn't always come standard in every vehicle out there so i emphasize that there's a ton of other advanced safety features including blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert daytime pedestrian detection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control as well. That's all standard. That's crazy. Parking assistance package, like I was mentioning, that's going to add that 360 degree monitor. There's also hands-free parallel parking. That's pretty cool. And front and rear parking sensors come with that package as well. And so as far as my final thoughts go on the 530i, timeless classic styling i've always liked the styling i think i prefer the m sport package on this one makes it look a little more aggressive in my opinion also generous trunk space you guys heard the comparison with the a6 there so a decent amount back there bowers and wilkins sound system is available i absolutely love that although we didn't have it today standard safety is a plus on this one on other bmw models you don't always get that blind spot monitor coming standard so i like that it comes standard with this one ihs top safety pick plus so ultimately i'm gonna leave this question for you guys what would you pick in this segment would you pick the 530i that we test drove here today or the Audi A6, put it in the comments section below. That about rounds up this review though. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.